It's Presenter Search on 3, proudly brought to you by Capitec and Mac Cafe. The long queues, the delicious coffee and the daunting auditions are twice as nice here in Johannesburg as we return for a double dose of TV talent. Welcome to Presenter Search on 3. As contestants wait for their chance to impress the first round of judges, DJ Fresh handpicks three hopefuls from the Mac Fast Track competition to skip the queues. Now, if you want to get involved in today's conversation, then you can drop your opinion down below. The three contestants I chose because I felt they were almost TV ready, if not already TV ready. And that's what you want. One people that, one, don't take themselves too seriously, but at the same time sound credible in front of the camera. So what I think I did right with my video was I had fun. I had so much fun and I think that's what stood out. I think Fresh noticed me because I took my time with my video. I only uploaded it 30 minutes before the closing time and I think I brought something different, you know. Mbasa Fefe was a hectic 99 presenter. Being picked by DJ Fresh is such a blessing because it feels like I have a second opportunity to redeem myself because I auditioned before in Port Elizabeth and I didn't go through so when I got that message that I actually made it through to this round I was like ah the Lord is, is faithful. Three more entrants were given a McFast track by receiving the most likes from the public. I was one of the most liked and it was actually pretty exciting because I must really admit it took really guts for me to actually enter the competition and I really would love to say thank you to Africa you know for like clicking 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 and liking the thing it really it really was amazing you know. Catch top billing this Saturday at 6 p.m. To get all those likes on Instagram I was so shocked. It felt really cool and it made me a lot more confident. Now I bring you the low down and dirty, the sour and sweet. Well, the girl is a slayer, so I went to my people, I told them, please like, and they did. The Mac Fast Track winners received an exclusive Q&A session with DJ Fresh. You now when he steps in the room, you're just like, boom, all oh, that freshness. <laughs> There's a Zulu saying that says in Lela it was which simply means that you have to ask those who walked the road before. And DJ Fresh is the right guy to ask about this. So I was told I needed to give you guys a bit of advice. Enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy your audition. If you look scared, we can smell your fear. And there's nothing like a judge that can smell fear. Because we're gonna wanna chew you up and spit you out. You know, when the viewer sees you having fun, they buy into what it is you're saying, what you're doing. So let people feel something. So good luck, all the best. But tuck in, we have food for you guys. Uh, nothing like a good, hearty, fresh breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> wow. With a boost of confidence from the big dog himself, the Six Mag Fast Track contestants arrive at the stadium ready to impress. One piece of advice that Fresh gave us today that I really loved was the fact that he was like, go in it with a fresh perspective, be playful with it, be free. So I think that was quite insightful. Not a lot of people know this, but a couple of years ago I DM'd him asking if I could pick his brain over a cup of coffee. And uh, this morning it happened. With Fresh at their side, they skip the queues straight to the audition room. Walking past thousands of people is really exciting and just to see them waiting there and looking at me, making me feel so special, they're all making noise for DJ Fresh, is really exciting, I'm really happy. It's just thousands, but thousands of them. And here we are, VIP. Like, I don't know if I should strut, because it's not like you're famous, you know? You're just a lucky one. I was waiting for someone to scream, like, I hate you, because they've been waiting for hours in that queue. And there's me just walking past, so I felt like an absolute celeb. I know those queues can be so exhausting when you get to the room and you're tired already. So it's actually a plus, because I'm still fresh, and I'm going to get there, I'll still be fresh, and I'll be DJ Fresh. <laughs> Mac Fast Track winners now face the first round of judges, consisting of top billings Jade Hubner, TV personality Zakia Patel, and SABC3 program manager Hamilton Gubo. The first of Fresh's selections is Kanya Middleton. Hello! I like that fresh selection. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> you know that comes with some freshness, so you need a you need to be you know, a bread of fresh air. At the end end of the day, hey, I'll try. No end of the day, right <laughs> now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon everyone, my name is Kanye Middleton and today on the Afternoon Express we've put Bonnie in the kitchen with renowned chef Sarah Graham. They're going to be cooking her wholesome banana bread. That's banana bread you can eat for days because it's full of all that goodness. So Bonnie, over to you, hey? Go 
bananas, go, go bananas, go bananas, go, go bananas, go bananas, go, go bananas, go bananas, go, go bananas. Next, radio DJ Samora Mangesi. When I face the judges, I think I'm going to do pretty well. I am quite confident and I'm a little bit excited as well. Well, I can finally attest that dreams delayed are not necessarily dreams denied. A couple of years ago, a young Samora Magesi DM'd one of the media practitioners he respects the most, asking if he can take him out for a cup of coffee. And that today, he got to do exactly that. With a media career spanning longer than I've been alive, he's a wall of knowledge that is nowhere near day zero. When I got to have my special moment with DJ Fresh. Hello, Mbasa Fefe, who made it to the callbacks in PE, oh, now has a second chance to impress. Yeah, just relax. I'm, I'm going to try and not overthink too much because I think, um, you know, what played against me last time was the fact that I was, I, I was just too, you know, concerned with, with everything. I was just too flustered. So I'm going to be a little bit more chilled. Well, DJ Fresh has hand-picked you. So when you're ready, okay. go ahead. I'm at New York Fashion Week, and today I'm going to be catching up with Miss Universe Demi Lee Now Peters, as well as talented musician and TV host Nandi Madida. It's a huge weekend for these two gorgeous women who'll be showcasing designs for two very talented designers, Sherry Hill and Josh Patron. Let's start with Nandi, who teamed up with Josh to put together a stunning collection titled Color, which showcases bold African fabrics that are perfect for the upcoming winter season. The foam and the buttery caramel. It just it does it for me. You know, nothing comes before the Mac Cafe coffee. My name is Seche Tio Tatongwano Moshoshwe. Until the next cozy set. A public favorite on Instagram is Tato Moshesh. You're not only auditioning to become a television show host, but we are also looking for brand ambassadors who will embody the spirit of SABC3 as a channel that shines the spotlight on our progress and aspirations. Well, if you think you've got what it takes, then opportunities are endless and the stage is yours. Now I love my job because I get to taste everything. Earning the most likes, blogger Kelsey Goldie. I definitely think I am ready for my audition. I think I have what it takes. At the end of the day, um, I'm here to have fun and just be myself. They call me a jet setter, but this time it's for all the right reasons. Work. Three words, Melbourne Fashion Week. It's that simple. I'm Carl Seelan Goldie, and catch me and the Fashion Fix show this Friday on Expresso. It's fashion, darling. More than anything, I bring to you real stories by real people, and that is why you should be liking this video this very moment. Last but not least, actress Naledi. The stage is yours. Hello, South Africa. My name is Naledi Chera, the girl with the blue hair. Now, I bring to you the lowdown, the sour and sweet, the beautiful and vibrant, and that's why you already like me, and I might just be your new presenter on SABC3. So stay tuned, and we'll chat a bit more right after the break. Great. Thank you. I love the color combo. Yeah. Thank you. 12 for me, please. Ooh, 360. Ooh. And with the water. Yeah. Coming up, the Joburg callbacks. Who will make the cut? If you do just one thing this year, bank better in 2018 with Capitech. This is the Johannesburg callback room, where a short stroll between two exes and the opinions of the judges can change your life, putting your face on TV. Like mine is right now. Oh, my team. Hi. <laughs> Out of all of the provinces, I think Johannesburg is possibly one of the most difficult ones to audition at, purely because the stakes are really high and our expectation is really high. A lot of people come here to pursue their dreams. This is where everybody thinks it's going to happen if it's to happen. So I'm looking forward to it. What am I expecting? Lots of people, lots of talent. I expect everybody to be just that, you know, that good. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, Joburg is Jonathan's territory, so are we going to find the next Jonathan? Are we going to get our next winner here? So much talent has come out for Josie. It's very exciting. But for me, the most exciting is our six McFast tracks. Let's see how they do. They better not disappoint me. I'm watching you. Of the six McFast track winners, only one managed to impress the first round judges. You're a debater. Yes. Yeah, what do you yes. know about debate? Um, I debate everything. Yeah. But most, well, now my conversations are around you know, justice and equality, you know, and women, women empowerment. I feel like if you're not, that's not your conversation, then you're in the wrong room all the damn time because you want women to be empowered. That's, that's what I debate. I have a challenge for you. Yes. You're going to debate against yourself. 
Okay. Ooh. <laughs> um, your two topics are it's a man's world. Uh -huh. The other one is a woman's place is in the home. Okay, both just give it to yes, you, both yeah, points. Yeah. Well, the woman's place is in the home because we create society. We decide how the society looks like because we raise these kids, we make them, we give them different personas. The problem is outside, but in the home, the women have it. And we know women are leaders because they lead our homes, and that's why our homes are functional. You know, majority of the homes in South Africa are led by women, and that's how we know that women are leaders. And then secondly, it's a man's world. That is the most saddest uh, statement ever because it's true economically, politically, socially, but we want to say that that's not how it should be because women are human beings. Women are equally capable, in most cases even far more better than their male counterparts and they should be recognized as such because they are talented, they deserve things, they put in the work and they are also in their own world. So it's a man's world versus the woman's world. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm not so, I'm no. not, I'm not so con convinced about it's a man's world. That's because I don't believe in it. I don't believe it's a man's world. <laughs> it's, a man's world it's not actually. a man's world. As a debater, but you should be able to <laughs> debate hold whatever that. point it is. Yeah, Yes. true. But you also have to believe in what you're saying. Because if you're lying, then you're lying. You know, lies are lies. Uh -huh. And we can all see through lies. We don't like lies. <laughs> Thank, you Thank you very much. much. Thank well you so done. much for your time. Good to see you again. And good to see you too. Yeah. I'm refreshed again. Bye bye. Bye, -bye. Yeah. <laughs> bye girl. Hi, South Africa. My name is Misa Kaiser, reporting live from the red carpet of the Simers. Right Actress here and radio DJ Musa first okay. impressed judges with this um, interview. Well, you've won Best Hip Hop. How do you feel? Yeah, man, it's so dope. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very well, thanks. Yourself? Wonderful. Lovely to meet you. Very nice to meet you. So tell us about this weekend when you came for the auditions. I left home at 5 a.m. and I got there and I was the very first person on Saturday. Like, I see a guy with the microphone, but he's not doing the things that the microphone, you know, has to, you know, he's not doing the things. The <laughs> you know, the, you know the, the people are lonely, the people are it's standing there waiting, and I'm just like, so I go up to him and I say, hi, sorry, I hope you don't mind. Um, can I borrow your mic for a second? Can I just like, you know, give it a bit of a vibe and then I'll go do my audition. So he's like, yeah, sure. 4870. And I emceed the rest of the weekend because I had nothing else to do. And you have a great voice, so why not? Thank you so much. Oh, this is the big dog telling me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you so much, Bish. Model and personal trainer Lee Thompson is no stranger to the camera and managed to stay calm at crunch time. Can this modern day jock become the apple of your eye? Good afternoon. Hi Lee, how are you? I'm well and you? Wonderful. Lee's been on Tuppling before and I interviewed him when we went swimming in the ocean. Do you still have a killer six pack? Uh, it's 50% there. My six pack's also 50%. Shame! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. So, so <laughs> You've lost your edge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got an idea for okay, you. Okay, cool. Obviously, you know, Patient Stevens is basically the icon of South African media. Yes, yes. I'd like to hear you interview her. Oh. Um, <laughs> Good afternoon, Ms. Patient Steve. Okay, let me try that again. Good afternoon, Mr. Stevens. How long have you been in the industry for, and why have you chosen SABC3? I've been in the industry too long to give away how many years it is, because then it gives away my age, and you never ask a woman her age. Well, you look under 40, if that helps. <laughs> You've got the job. Okay, let's do it. Okay. And do you enjoy what you do? Because that's the most important thing, I would say. I love doing what I do. Yeah. Fantastic. Great. And... Um, I think we'll leave it there. Lovely to meet you and all the best. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you so much, Lee. <laughs> You've handled that interview so well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me, interviewing your future boss, how was that? Patient Stevens behind your mic? I like how you said mic. future boss. It yes. was great. I mean, interviewing oh, patients was a dream come true, actually. Uh -huh. And to um, speak to someone of that caliber, was really interesting and a huge honor. Welcome With experience as a presenter on Soweto TV, Logan Lawson from El Dorado Park had enough confidence to win over the first round judges and earn himself a callback. Welcome to Expresso. My name is Logan Lawson. I come from a small community in the south of Johannesburg called El Dorado Park. As much as I'm doing this for myself, I'm doing it for the thousands of others who come from communities as such. Fun facts about myself, I'm single, I'm short, and I have a colored accent, but I guarantee 
see you. I'll last longer than this 15 seconds. What am I talking about? I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't confusing at all. <laughs> Being a woman of many talents came in handy for Kaylin Sabadin, who's a theatre performer, model, dancer and fitness instructor. Every woman always wants the freedom to be themselves. Watching Jenny D on top billing, I always thought this show could be my platform for this. Because one day, you get to dress up and feel like a total princess. And the next, you get a kick of your heels, get covered in mud, break out into dance, and stomp on eggshells while everyone else just tiptoes around them. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Hello, South Africa. My name is Lungo Andropizzi. A radio presenter and aerobics fanatic, Lungo got his place in the callbacks with a high energy performance. Look at me. It says here under your hobbies that you do aerobics. Are yes. you an instructor? Or what you um, I've just recently graduated from ETA College from Pretoria yeah. uh, as an instructor, and it helped me tone out a bit. Really? Now I'm able to wear like a vest and actually go out in the street. Can we do a quick little aerobics class? Yes, definitely. Because Come, Jeannie. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting summer ready. But you really? Must, you, don't, you need to get your heels. Could we have some heels for him, please? Uh, yeah. no, we, we, we use flats, guys. We use flats. Okay. Okay. There's usually a count, right? Okay. It's like four, three, two, Five, one. Five, six, seven, eight. Correct. I love it. I love it. Right? So I'll be your lead. I'll demonstrate first, and okay. then you follow my lead. I'll go a little bit behind you. Are you, you ready? So that I can see what you're there doing. There we go. Okay. Four, three, two, one. One, two, double, double. One, two, double. Much. One, two, double, double. One, two, double, and double. I feel like being unsafe. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Why are aerobics instructors such show offs? They'll be in the front there yeah. with our five favorites and the rest of us mere mortals must try and keep up. I understand what you mean. I don't know, it's just a show-off thing. I, th I think it's in them, not me. So. That's why I stopped. I was like, I'd rather be fat. It's fine. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh, yes. yes. And yes. knees yes. up. And um, on. you show me. All right, this is very good. One, Ooh. two. I can't do that one. Double. Double. <laughs> what is it with the fitness fanatics in there today? How, how was that for you? Did they all get up oh, and vibe? They did. I actually got up and vibed with Jeannie. She, she's phenomenal and I'm glad she's got, she doesn't have two left feet. So she was able to stick to the rhythm. In those red boots. Oh mm. yeah, looking absolutely delicious. <laughs> Reality TV experience paid off for Nondu Mabizela. Team Blue with Smartly Mpitsane on Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. And how are you guys doing? Very, very well, thank you. Why do you look so familiar? Because you may have seen me on Tropica Island of Treasure as part of hashtag Team Thick. So why are you here now? Why do you want to... Why am I here? Because I want to become a presenter. After Tropica Island of Treasure, being on TV, I feel like it's a thing for me and I enjoyed it so much. So why not have another opportunity at doing the same thing over and over again for the rest of my life? So, yeah. Awesome. Well, let's watch your link. Good morning, welcome to your favorite feel-good breakfast show right here on SABC3. I'm Nondu Mavizela and I'm the new face joining the feel-good family. Now, if you're like me and you're a little overwhelmed with the temperature dropping faster than Steve Compella dropped Kaiser Chiefs, then this is the perfect place to be because we're going to heat things up. We even have a special designer guest in the studio today who took McDonald's to the runway. And no, there were no Big Macs on stage. However, let us know who you think the special guest is using the hashtag Expresso Show. Catch your hand, here. Yes! Well done, GDD! I win. Professional lifesaver Raul de Mornay spends his time looking after Cape Town's pristine beaches and is known for his commitment. I've been blessed enough to be given the title of the fastest man on sand. What that means exactly is that within Life Saving, it's a competition and there's two events which involve sprinting and beach flags. Uh, it's a speed and endurance event, testing the flexibility and reaction time in Life Saving. And I've been blessed enough to compete and represent my country at the sport. I've saved the life before and it was quite an experience. I think for any lifeguard, uh, the amount of training and uh, uh, development that you kind of go through to become a lifeguard and to be competent enough never really truly prepares you for that moment when you really have to switch it on. I was lucky to have an amazing team with me. Uh, we managed to run out into the ocean, um, grab a girl that had just gone under, pulled up out of the water and 
kind of uh, carried on with our CPR drills and managed to bring it back. You do get the times when people are always interested in, oh, are you from Baywatch, can you run slow? And they kind of make the jokes, but uh, we know why we're on the beach. We know what our real reason is there for. So we'll play around in the public and have some fun, but uh, we always know that there's a real serious job to do. When he's not saving lives, Ryle is a fitness entrepreneur and along with his business partner, designs customized gym equipment for professional athletes. So in 2010, I left the corporate world uh, realizing that the stimulation that I thought I was pursuing there really wasn't the case. So I approached Robbie, my business partner, and at the time, there was no line of gym equipment that really facilitated and helped me with what I wanted to pursue in my sporting career. And we teamed up together, worked through a design, and created something in the SA market. And from there, we realized that there was massive potential in the market, and there were people that were wanting something similar and also customizing the equipment. I think the judges should pick me because I'm real, I'm raw, and I'm natural. And I just believe that I've got a lot of energy to give and share in that experience. And I think people might enjoy that. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm very good. I'm here, I'm live. <laughs> can you run in slow motion? If you really want me to, yeah, I can yeah, yeah. try. I'll, I'll give you the same. Okay, stop. Some people stand in the dark. Oh, you're doing this? To step into the light. So you I'll be there. Sorry, not, not, not enough um, oil on your chest, sorry. No, 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 no. Just a little sweat, baby, that's it. Now can I see his leg? Yes. All yours. And action. Good afternoon. My name is Ryle Demone. I'm 29 years old and I've traveled all the way from Cape Town to live out this incredible experience with you guys. Why do you want to be a TV presenter? I love to present my personality and use it as a medium. Wow. Use it as a medium. <laughs> <laughs> let me answer, let me answer. <laughs> see but you yeah. had yeah. a lot of work. Wow. 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 It might be business though. This is like a joke. Wow. <laughs> That's very embarrassing. I'm sorry about that. Hello. Hi, very well, thanks and you. This is Jeannie D speaking. <laughs> Ryle's in the middle of an audition at the moment with myself and DJ Fresh. <coughs> you kind of interrupted. <laughs> no worries. Would you like me to pass on a message? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. It's your gym. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're very good. You we could maybe work together. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That's very embarrassing. Wow. Coming up, Joburg contestants show off their style as the callbacks continue. Enjoy a moment in between with McCafe. For this presenter search hopeful, style runs in the family. How many Katulondi is a model, voiceover artist and son of a fashion designer. He also holds a double degree in economics. As a creative, fashion is a great way for me to express myself through my, my sense of style, through the way I dress, and just the way that I look. I think my sense of style comes from everywhere, from my family, from my mom, from my experiences, from the life that I've lived, from being African as a whole, still being modern and everything. So it's literally just a beautiful combination of who I am. Harmony's mother runs her own fashion label that's known for modern designs using African print. My mom and my dad, they're such blessings from God. I thank God every day for them. Um, they've sacrificed so much for me to make me the person that I am. It's, it, it was never easy, um, but they were still there through thick and thin. And their 30th anniversary is coming up, and I really want to make them proud. Harmony was always... Uh a sapper since a young age because he, he grew up in a family where the father and the mother loved being dressed up. I think Harmony deserves to be on television because he was born for that, first of all. He has the voice for TV, he dressed for TV, and he has passion for that, I can say. I really want to make them, my family, and the whole of the world proud, I guess. Hi. Hello, how are you guys? Very well, and you? <laughs> I'm awesome. 
Can we just discuss those pants? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. They are amazing. Um, it's actually my mom. So she's starting out with a new brand. It's called Mama Filo Design. So, no yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so supporting my mom. Yeah. yeah. Did you sure. bring a measuring tape? I'll give you my size. <laughs> yeah, hey, we can make a plan afterwards. Yeah, so. done. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, gorgeous, breathtaking. These are just some of the words that I can use to describe my pants. And where else can we get these pants except for Mama Philo Design? So coming up next is this beautiful, incredible woman who's got her dreams and she's pushing for it. Mama Philo Designs right here on 3. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. And now I'm proud to let you know that Tumpu Mim Lambo is an award-winning content producer and radio host. Content producer and radio host Tumpu Mim Lambo caught the judge's eye with her striking sense of style. So you're probably wondering what's happening on the show today. Well, you don't have to wonder no more because I've got a new genre in a South African film that you have never seen before. I'm speaking about a South African Western film called Five Fingers for Messiah. We are joined in the loft today by actress, lead actress in the movie, Zetu Lomo, as well as actor Vio Dabula to really speak about the movie in great length, but also give away free tickets. I know that's definitely something that you might want to get up to over this weekend. So make sure that you stick around for the conversation. Stay tuned. Pop singer Zikona Kamana is an IT specialist by day, but hopes to make entertainment her full-time career. If you're one of those that like to throw it down in the shower, sing in front of the mirror, this one is for you. Hold on a second. If you recognize something that goes a little like this, you're probably sitting there on your own. You're probably listening to the song. It's pumping all over your radio. And suddenly you feel a lot of joy. Yes, you heard me right. It is the soil. They'll be hanging out with us and performing after the break. So make sure to send your tweets if you have any comments or questions for them. And remember, a little later on, we still have our cook-along with Chef Zola, who'll be whipping out a delicious vegan recipe. If you didn't know about that, stay where you are. We'll be back after a sec right here on SABC3. The stage is yours. Actress and radio presenter Taryn Louch blew the first round judges away with her unique ability to change accents. My favorite really is a lot more Russian. That is really where I'm in the most comfortable. So Northern Cape Tourism are sending you to Uppington and you need to do a link telling us that this coming weekend I'm off to Uppington and this is what I expect to find there. Please do it into camera. Perfect. Uppington's yes. freshest, fa freshest favorite party place. Yeah. It's your favorite party place? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't judge. I'm not. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's also freezing cold in Uppington. At night. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Enough you, clues, uh, enough hints. Yes. It's all yours now. I am so excited. We are off to Uppington this weekend to catch DJ Fresh in action. He's got a great show, live music, and he's going to be bringing us some of the best that South African entertainment has to offer. But pack your jerseys. It's cold. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> My name is Star Kulu, and I'm the girl in the middle of finding her space in this magic. A journalism graduate, Star runs her own lifestyle blog called The Girl in the Middle and moved to Joburg to pursue a career in entertainment. Dust off your pumps, fix those muscles, the presenter search is back on three. Now, unlike this weekend's very unpredictable weather, the rumor has it that Joburg's talent was on a heat wave. I remember being here about five or six years ago, very young and very keen but I'll admit also very green, but I'm back with 10 times the amount of effervescence, a little bit more elegance, and I'm ready to take my spot as one of SABC3's brand ambassadors. Good afternoon, South Africa. My name is Star Kulu, and I am the girl in the middle of an interesting journey. And I forgot to look at the camera because I'm a public speaker. Yes, indeed. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yes, indeed. Wow. Yes, indeed. wow. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> You are so beautiful. Thank you. You, you wow. Well, ditto, ditto. But I want to know, do you feel like that gives you an edge or do you feel like maybe, you know, it's something that you have to overcome, that people connect with you, not just look at you? Is that a weird question? Um, no, it's not a weird question, okay. but I think with SABC3 specifically, it's more of an energy thing and okay. an inside thing. So you could have a pretty face, but if there's nothing happening in your heart, it doesn't really match up. So I hope both things work together. I'm just connecting to your heart right now. <laughs> Me too, let's connect. Mm -hmm. let's connecting connect. to your Same heart and heart. good. Good day, everyone. Um, I'm not really sure how to start something like this before because I've never done something like this before. This so, digital operations manager and marketing graduate told his inspiring story of newfound confidence. 
My name is Leo De Silva. I've recently embarked on a new journey since my facial reconstruction. It's been an adventure that's been filled with happiness, success, ambition, and most importantly, found a new found confidence into changing the world and stepping up to do that. So firstly, you are gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> but what facial reconstruction did you have? So everything from my cheekbones down has been broken and reconstructed. I've got 25 pins and screws. Um, I had an underbite that I was born with. I actually developed through age and got progressively worse. And so it wasn't anything aesthetically um, to improve, but it's just basically practicality and just going forward with life uh, because it was but getting worse. But do you look physically different? Just my eyes apparently are a lot bigger. My smile is a lot brighter. Well, I haven't stopped smiling since I got my braces off on the 1st of September. <laughs> I must be honest with you. Leo. Bobby. How did it go? No, it was very chilled. I must be honest with you. I mean, the judges sat there intent, listening, but you know what? Calm, cool, collected cucumbers. That's it. Leo. Yeah, go. Is this how you are all the time? No. <laughs> ADHD is a thing. <laughs> it's part of life. <laughs> it's on my but CV. you're channeling it, it seems, which is great. Well, I'm picking it up from you, so I'm picking it up from where you're leading off. Yeah, because I have a bit of a, look, a butterfly. Our next callback contestant studied performing arts at Wits University and uses her talent and training to make people happy. My name is Kitty Mwepang. I'm an actor. I'm also an improv theatre practitioner as well as a youth development professional with Boys and Girls Clubs of South Africa. My improv group is called Thanks, not Thanks Ladies, not Thanks Girls. It's thanks. You shamanistic boy. I like making people laugh because we live in such a serious world. And I'm going to speak for myself as a young black female. There's so much we go through. And to be able to laugh at the beginning of a conversation or at the end, it just makes everything so much easier. And you find people open up more to you. They become comfortable. And it's a great tool to get to um, engage with people around you. Life is heavy, guys. Come add a little comedy in. Take it easy. With a passion for education, Kitty is a staff trainer at an NPO that provides after-school programs for kids. Hello everybody, welcome to the Boys and Girls Clubs of South Africa, my personal treasure, where I spend most of my time making sure our Boys and Girls Clubs members are working on their futures. Join us. Hello guys. Come up and say. Making a difference in the lives of a Boys and Girls Club member is honestly a humbling experience. All I ever wanted to do was be in a space where I can assist the kids that are here to receive the quality programs that can at least give them a chance to compete on the same level as a child going to a private school. And even if I were to do something else, I would still be a big part of the Boys and Girls Club. We teach girls to accept a word of patriarchy unquestioningly. I want to be a TV presenter because I believe I have the people skills to make people feel welcomed and warm and open up to me. Also, come on, I am comedy on like two legs. People like that. Thanks! In the first round, Kitty paid tribute to one of her favorite presenters, Bonang Mateva. And some champagne, darling. Good night and God bless. Hello. 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 I'm well in yourself. Wonderful, lovely to see you. Fashion trends come and go, and some even make a comeback. And hair is no different. Yesterday, we saw someone that gave us the ins and outs of the rise and the comeback of the wig. We were in the Maboneng precinct with Lebo, the wig magician, who showed us how to go from this to this without damaging that crown. I love that. <laughs> Unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see your Bonang impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I have a feeling this is going <laughs> to happen? <laughs> All Even right. better still, <laughs> can you do a Bonang having an argument with AKA? Uh, no! Oh, no, no! <laughs> and, the spice! And, and you're playing both of them. <laughs> oh, great. All right. Yes. Bonafa Kinia Nene, Bonafa. You are not going to come into my space with my Instagrammers. I am busy. You pass the champagne, darling. <laughs> hey, yo, B. Uh, B, the super mega. The super mega got a show, OK? So let's just get this straight. I need to go. You need to get your stuff, and we need to be together. Woo, Kinane! You can't miss a girl's flow. <laughs> Lovely, well done. Thank you. <laughs> Kitty, 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 kitty
Okay, how are you feeling? Baby, I made it out. You made it. <laughs> Everyone wants to make it in, you made it out. Hang I'm, on, you know, are you all intact? I'm together, I think the girls are all snatched. Okay, you know? good. Yeah. What, what is the one thing that surprised you the most about being in there? I think the combination of the different personalities at the panel. Yes. Um, it's it's a wild card. So, you know, you don't know what your personality is going to vibe with who. So it's about just giving your best, give your talent, and it is what it is. If it's yours, it's yours. Oh, wise words. Good luck to you. Thank you so much, Bobby. Coming up, does a medical doctor have what it takes to be a TV star? Bank better to live better with Capitech. Born in Botswana, Pelo Mokodi is a model and former pageant queen with experience as a TV presenter in her home country. Wow. Good afternoon. <laughs> how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you, Jeannie? Fabulous. Tell us a bit about your day. My day has, actually, my day started on Friday when I auditioned for this. So it's been like one long three days. But yeah, otherwise, I've just been calm, trying to remain calm and just excited to meet all four of you. And what do you do when you're not at auditions? I'm a TV presenter in Botswana. End of 2017 was when my TV job ended. What kind of t uh, TV show did you host in Botswana? It was a lot similar to Top Billing, actually. It was called Travelog, but it was the traveling side of Top Billing. So we just traveled across Botswana, showcasing you know, tourist destinations, particularly in the north of Botswana, because that's where like, tourism is booming. I love Botswana. Where yeah. was your favorite place that you went to? Makhadi Khadi Pans. Oh my goodness, did you go to Jack's Camp? <laughs> we did. We oh, went to all three of them. That little place family. In the world. We did. We did. Well, yeah. should, should I actually we... get to meet Jack. I got to meet Jack. Adorable. Should, 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 we, should we leave the room? Because of the <laughs> <laughs> We're having a moment. <laughs> no, but can I tell you, Jack's Camp is, we did it for Top Travel, mm. it is yes, the most is. incredible mm. place in the world. Mm. It's really? Yeah. I recommend everybody should go there yeah. mm. at least once. Why don't you sell it to us? Oh, is that the improv part of... Yeah. All right. Jack's camp. After about 18 hours driving from the capital city of Botswana, Khaborone, right here to the north in Maung, I am proud to tell you that we are finally at Jack's camp. For those of you that may not know, Jack's camp is actually named after the man that started it. But sadly, he was killed in a car crash. So now they decided to pass on the generation and the legacy. And I'm going to be hanging with little Jack, who is just running around the corner a little bit. And we're going to be talking about this phenomenal camp. So if you want to know what happens here, stay tuned. But do not go anywhere. We have something super exciting. Full of yeah. energy we with a thirst a for adventure, wings, Shannon Leibach is a Vitz drama student and thrill seeker with a passion for scuba diving. So you are going on a scuba adventure with Jeannie. Oh, yes. Uh, in fact, you've gone already, and um, things went terribly, terribly wrong underwater uh, for Jeannie. OK. And you need to tell us all about that. And action. Hi guys, I have such a story to tell you. So I decided being the good friend I am, I'm gonna take Jeannie D with me to Mozambique for a little bit of scuba diving. See some turtles, see some sharks. But the moment that Jeannie D saw a shark, did she not her regulator come out of her mouth and she was dying until your boy Shan pulled through with my Octo, gave it to her and saved the day. It's not gonna stop her scuba diving anytime soon and we should be back in the water next week. I'll see you then. So what did you put in her mouth? It's an octo, which is your second regulator. You got uh, one and you got a spare. Okay. So I went and... Yeah, so. oh, I thought mouth to mouth would have worked quicker, but... Mm. I don't know how we're not, not that close water. yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Okay, so you went scuba diving with Jeannie in your imagination. I did, I did. Um, I could have done a, a cooler thing, but uh, look, I, I just thought I kept to my words and I thought it was a cool link. Yeah. But next time I'm going to take Jeannie. Jeannie D, we are going scuba diving whether you like it or not, so I'll see you then. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like a threat. Do you want to join uh, us? No, thanks. Thanks very much for chatting to me. Well done. Thank you so much, and thank you. Nala Tose is a radio presenter and social entrepreneur. Having entered Presenter Search twice in the past, will it be third time lucky for her career on TV? Okay, so I'm a radio broadcaster, radio and television broadcaster, and I'm also an entrepreneur. So I run an organization that builds um, women, girls and women in media. So we do training and development and leadership development within the media space. All right, well, let's watch your link. Hello, 
My name is Nala, and I'm a radio broadcaster and television broadcaster and an entrepreneur with a mission to change the way we do media in Africa. Now, there's only one hurdle that I need to overcome, and it is this presenter search right here. I've been here three times now, and they say the third time's a charm, right? And well, the stage is mine. Medical doctor Fezilem Kize hopes that being a TV presenter will give him a bigger platform to live out his passion for helping others. I knew I wanted to be a doctor when my mother told me that she actually had this dream of having somebody in the house who'd be a medical professional. So that sounds like she tricked me, which she did. And I'm saying it on live TV so she can hear it and she can know that I know. Completing his final year of medical internship, Fezile hopes to become a neurosurgeon. Medicine is such a great thing. Every aspect of it is incredible, but the biggest thing is just seeing a patient who's come in sick, and then when they leave, they're, they're well, everything's been resolved, and yeah, you know, they're just grateful. Saving lives is part and parcel of the occupation, but the biggest one, there's a little eight-year-old boy who came in, his chest was tight, they didn't know he had asthma at the time, and gave him some medication, gave him a mask, and his chest opened up, he started to breathe, and honestly, I've never seen somebody that happy. And at that point, just looking at him smiling, I knew this was my passion, I'd made the right decision, and I was home. Fezile never imagined a life as a TV personality, and it was his girlfriend, Anesu, who convinced him to enter the auditions. Fez is a really special guy. I mean, he is an overachiever. He was great at med school. That's where I met him. He's an all-rounder, and I'm really lucky to be with him. I do so many things to unwind and just to kind of have fun and try to forget about the long week. The biggest thing for me is to come home, read, usually with my better half. But basketball comes in there. It's one of my favorite sports. And honestly, I can't think of anything else that can help me relax. I really want to be a presenter because my ethos in life is to try to help people, to let people's stories be heard. So as a presenter, that's all I'll be doing, telling that story and making people happy every day. Hey guys. Hi. How's it going? Good, and afternoon, you? Afternoon, afternoon. Hello, nurse. I'm guessing you're not a nurse. <laughs> no, no. They're cool though, but I'm a doctor. Okay, so let's rephrase. Uh, what's up, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, that's the seventh person who said that to me today. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Imagine a young man, yee-hai, doe-eyed, bushy-tailed, enthralled as he watches one of his favorite TV shows. They take him from breathtaking views to incredible homes to influential interviews that have shaped who he is today. Cut through a couple of years, a medical degree, helping some people, but being helped by so many more along the way. And here he stands, 27 years old, ready to join those illustrious ranks. My name is Fizzy Limkiza. I am your next top presenter. Surely there's a hospital in Cape Town that needs you to work for them so that you could work for Afternoon Express at the same time. I am <laughs> more than willing to help wherever anybody will let me, really. Yeah. Uh, Doc, thank you very much. Thank you. Stage right. And then just ask him for a friend. Do you happen to have a spare pad of sick notes? Like, listen, <laughs> um, like low-key off-camera. Like, if, you, if I make it... I'll call you. I'll call you, Doc. Stack, dude. Like a stack. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thanks, Doc. Hi, I'm Michael Dunstan. A, small a personal boy. trainer and model, Michael earned his call back by quite literally sweeping a judge off her feet. Let me just... <laughs> Being a hopeless romantic, I moved up to Johannesburg for love, which unfortunately was short-lived. Since then, I've seized every single opportunity that's crossed my path since then, such as this one, where I hope to leave my mark. I'm Michael Dunstan, this is Top Billing, and thank you for having me. So what happened? Long story short, uh, Things just didn't work out. When did it happen? Like yesterday? Or no, no. It was, it was a year ago. But so. it still feels like that. It feels mm. like you're still carrying the pain. So in your link, yeah. you, you, you know, can you do it again? But can you just come out? A little bit more. You just come out. Okay. Just, you know. <laughs> Don't be nervous. We're not scary. No, no. <laughs> Don't, stop right. carrying the burden of your... All right. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'll start here. Okay. All right. Good afternoon. I'm Michael Dunstan. Uh, I'm a small town boy with traditional values. Being a hopeless romantic, I moved up to Johannesburg for love, which unfortunately was short lived. But since then, I've you know, seized every opportunity that's crossed my path since then. Um, but here's hoping with this one that this will leave my mark. 
Thank you. All the best. Who Thank has you. made a positive impression on the judges? There's a sadness about him. Mm. So he's got, he ticks all the boxes from an appearance point of view. But the minute he opens his mouth, his energy is just not there. I wanted to shove a firecracker in his mouth and like make him have fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because, be happy. Yeah, we're in the business of fun and he was having a terrible time. He doesn't look very fun. Mm. And he was hesitant. And, yeah. Mm. Enjoy a moment in between with McCafe. The moment of truth has arrived as contestants wait with bated breath to find out who's made it to the Mentor Masterclass. Good evening, contestants. This is a very tense room, but before I go any further, I want to just congratulate you. Out of thousands who auditioned here in Johannesburg, you were the chosen 20 to come back for a callback. That deserves a round of applause. That being said, it was grueling in this room, and the judges have had to make some very tough decisions. So out of the 20 of you, our judges have decided that eight will be going through to the next round. The first contestant making it through to the next round of Presenter Search on Three is I, I don't know how to feel. My mom's going to be so proud. I've made it. I actually made it this far. The next contestant making it through from the Johannesburg callbacks is... Pierlo. I don't know what I'm feeling at this moment because my head is still pounding from just the stress throughout the day, but definitely a sense of relief is what's going through my mind first and foremost. The stakes keep getting higher and higher. There are dreams on the line here. So the next person, one step closer to making their television presenting dreams a reality is... Ryle. My heart is pounding, man. It feels crazy. <laughs> is this real? <laughs> the next hopeful making it through to the next round is... Naledi. That's my name, Bobby. That is my name. That's my name. Four places have been taken. Four names still to be announced. The next person making it through to the next round is... Harmony. Oh man, I'm so excited for what's coming up. I'm ready to learn, I'm ready to, to be the best version of myself that I can be. There's some amazing tricks that I think they're gonna teach me that's gonna be worth a million. The next person, one step closer to this dream of being on SABC3 is... Musa. My competition is pretty tough. Everybody seems great, but I am taking one of the three spots. It's mine. If you thought it was tense in here before. <laughs> <laughs> With two places remaining to go through to the next round, I can feel your hopes and dreams in this room. And so the next person to make it through is Shannon. I'm so happy and so excited to see where the competition is going and utterly, utterly relieved. It's moments like this that remind me just how competitive the television business is. And so there is only one place remaining from the Johannesburg callbacks. And that place belongs to
Nala. I was the last one to be called out. I mean, that is so nerve-wracking. One out of 12 people to be called out. It's quite something. So there you have it. These are the eight going through to the next round from the Johannesburg callbacks. Congratulations. <laughs> I want you to celebrate tonight. I want you to really take it all in. But the next time we see you, we want game faces on and bring all your talent to the fore because it only gets more challenging from here on out. Make sure you join us again next week for the first round of Presenter Search on 3 Masterclasses to see who will be found on 3. Next Thursday in Part 1 of the Mentor Masterclasses, contestants are tested with a series of presenting challenges. Will Port Elizabeth hopefuls keep their cool as they skate on thin ice or will the penguins get the better of them? And in Cape Town, it's the energy and adrenaline of live TV as contestants are put through their paces on the set of Afternoon Express. Enjoy a moment in between with McCafe. Another feel-good production.